thank you firstly for uh, the invitation and having me here. Uh, you know, as an organization, uh, Wrong has been out there and I think it was uh, really a great opportunity to represent the brand and uh, be here, uh, you know, at an esteemed panel, uh, learn new things that is there and share our views and things that we are doing. So it was a lovely experience. Thank you for all the hospitality extended. Uh, the consumers are today, um, you know, are far more informed. They are far more aware of about things that are happening. Uh, there are ample of options aware, uh, available and the room of or the margin of error for a brand is bare minimum. I think it is imperative uh, for consumers to uh, try and understand the consumer's requirement first, for the brands to un understand the consumer's requirement first and then offer them what they are looking at instead of trying to push what the brand has to offer. So it, the, the entire equation is reversed where it is, uh, you know, a not a supply-led game, it's a demand-led game and the brands have to be cognizant about the fact that they, it is a role reversal at the moment. We need to ensure that we uh, cater to what the customers are asking. So that's that's been the biggest shift in the entire uh, market right now. For us, uh, it's been very, very important that uh, we cannot take consumer for granted and for, for a consumer to have a uh, seamless experience irrespective of the channel that they are currently shopping, whether it is D2C, whether it is Marketplace or my exclusive brand stores uh, or any other channel for that matter. The experience or the brand journey for the consumer buying or touching or experiencing the brand has to be seamless. It's imperative that the brand feels the same synergies across all platform uh, because it's, it's the consumer who is investing their time, money, energy uh, into consuming the brand. And I think it, if, if it is not um, uh, the same everywhere, there will be fragmentation. And I think uh, that breaks, um, you know, takes away from what the brand stands for. So I think that's very, very important. And as a strategy, we have been very, very uh, cognizant about it. And we are trying to ensure that, uh, you know, that synergies are there everywhere. Secondly, um, you know, I think uh, uh, it's no longer uh, offline or online. I think that world has completely merged through Omni and that's where uh, we are leveraging. Uh, we are ensuring that the consumer has that seamless journey, whether it is online, offline, and uh, they make a seamless journey, whether it is buying, returning, or exchanging for that matter, it remains uh, synonymous for, 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 for a consumer everywhere. I think, uh, you know, one, one common misconception is uh, discount is the winner. No, product is the winner. Ultimately, if you are giving the consumer the value input, the value added uh, inside the, consume, the, con the, the product or the right product that the consumer is uh, requiring, I think that's where it is uh, going to, you know, dominate. It is no longer price or it is no longer, uh, you know, me first. Uh, it is basically right product, right time and to the right consumer. Understanding the data, offering what, what the consumers are looking for uh, at the right price is it's imperative. N uh, no longer discount is going to lead uh, the entire uh, offline or online uh, route. It is basically providing the consumer what they want.